Helmet's off, yeah, that's cool. Here they come! Helmet's on, okay. Oh no! They're wearing Beskar. Mandalorians are staying put. Yeah, he's just shooting. They send one messenger, not two. Mm -hmm. Getting hit. Surrounded. It's okay. They got best card. Okay. Melee. See ya. Which Close melee. Line. Oof. Keto. Kick. Down. Punches. So now they chase them. Naively chase them. Super cool though. Super cool. Oh, that's so cool. But tactically terrible. Attack, 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 chase, chase. Bing, bing, bing. Dive, dive shot. Oh, see ya. Oh, and trap. Oh. So let's, let's talk about some of these elements here. <laughs> so, yeah. first off, you're in dangerous territory, helmets off. It's not necessarily you're going to be able to get them back on if it's a surprise attack. Now, luckily, they were able to get them on. Not necessarily always the case. These helmets should be on at all times. And, and they're in a big cavernous room where they need to see things that are far away. Like, their helmets have the little visor, like, little scopey attachment mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. that their eyes don't have. Like, keep your helmet on. Mm -hmm. Also, notice the formation Scattered or lack thereof. Yeah. And then look at the, the tactical position they got themselves in. See if I can find the... Look at this. So it's kind of fuzzy. But here they are on this sort of walkway cliff. on the cliff. Mm -hmm. They have a, an, an exit over here and an exit over here. They're so exposed. All the Imperials have all this space to just shoot here. Mm -hmm. they they got don't a, have to do anything. Uh, Mando's got a wall behind their back so they can get shot mm -hmm. from behind. Oh, sorry. They, they, there's no way to exit. Mm -hmm. You can just dunk shot thermal detonators into the... That's right. You know, even if one comes, dunks off and bounces back down a cliff, you don't care. You just keep sending them until one sticks. I mean, They're heck, really... the stormtroopers can just fly above and just drop them from above. That's true. That's true. I thought that as soon as the Mandalorians see the, the, the jetpack troopers coming in, they should send like their left wing out so that they can't get surrounded. Just, just mm -hmm. don't, get, don't let the other team of them flank you. And I think they should never have been able to, they should never have been in this bunch formation to begin with. That's right. They have radios, they have squad jet tactics, packs. jet packs. Split up into two columns, one on the right side, one on the left side, like across the gorge. Mm -hmm. And heck, you don't, they can advance through this thing. They can be quite far apart mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. squads of two or five. So they're not all in one area. It's, That's right. It's, they have they have radios in their helmet. Mm -hmm. Communicate by, by radio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it was funny. The the jetpack guys they say, oh, the jetpack guys have Beskar, and it's like mm -hmm. we've decided that the tactics of Mandalorians is pretty naive, and mm -hmm. their real advantage is Beskar armor. Once they encounter an enemy with Beskar armor, they have no advantage. They have no answers. It's an even playing ground now. Yep. And the for some wild reason, thing... the Imperials come in for the melee kill. That's what our melee kills, but. What were you going to say? The wild thing about these Beskar armor is that it's not Beskar everywhere. Like, shoot him mm. in the thigh, shoot him in the butt. Like, Let's see if that... we can get a good show, shot. Oh, that, that, that's you think great. The... Here we oh, go. Yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. So the knee, the kneecaps are Beskar. The mm -hmm. outside of the thighs are Beskar. Mm -hmm. The forearms, the chest, the helmet, but the like cup. the cup, yeah, it was basically everything <laughs> but the junk uh, is exposed. <laughs> like, like shoot him in the mm -hmm. butt, shoot him in the inside of the thigh, mm -hmm. shoot him in the knee, shoot mm -hmm. him in the arms, shoot him in the hands, shoot him in the neck. Like, there's so you, many places that aren't Beskar covered. Do you think that the Imperials also have this advanced fabric? made out of Beskar that protects them in the same way the Mandalorians have? Or is the, Mand is the Beskar only on the plated sections? So I, ha I, I, 
I want to say that if the Mandalorians had these Beskar wolves and then the Empire took over the planet, then they would also have captured the Beskar wolves. However, I think that 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 must be just fabric because if they are fully head to toe covered in Beskar, how are the Mandalorians shooting them at all? So I think that means that mm-hmm. the black sections must not be Matt Beskar. Mm-hmm. In which case, yeah. that means shoot them there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at least aim there. I mean, they're Mandalorians. They should have the aim to be able to do it on some right. high percentage basis. Right. I mean, they're mm-hmm. super good combat warriors, unless their mm-hmm. skills are really just about walking up to people and shooting them. <laughs> and getting taken hits. <laughs> uh, 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 but it's Beskar, yeah, yeah, so I don't yeah. care. I'm Beskar. I'm cool. <laughs> Then the thing that really bothered me was this naive chase where they run away and they just fall right in the trap. Like, run, 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 run. No formation. Running, 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 gunning. Chase, chase. Even more just, chasing. Just, take, chasing. just absorbing it. Getting spread out. Bunching up. And then the, sp- then the trap is sprung. Door down. It's just... Do they, ha- do they not have tactical pursuit? Or is it just running and gunning like a video game? <laughs> I mean, it was super badass, super like tough guy. It was piercing mm-hmm. through the enemy forces, but like get some leapfrog, get some like cautionary, check the corner mm-hmm. a little bit. Otherwise you get caught out like this. Mm-hmm. Also, so this what, is, is, what is Din doing in the front? Din is like, he's like Grogu, uh-huh. you okay? You got to keep up, like hang out with Grogu, protect him. Don't get in the front. What are you doing? Yep. He's like, Grogu, keep up. I've got bloodlust. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like <laughs> running to the front. Yeah, so here's the Imperial Troopers. Mm-hmm. And here's Din. He's the first one to chase. That's unreal. Does Grogu yeah, just have like a godfather? Like, <laughs> who's going to take care of Grogu? I mean, nobody. Yeah, really because they don't take care of foundlings. Oh. Oh. So super, Bo, super badass though. So Bo's leadership in terms of tactics and strategy seems to be sorely lacking here. So you know? actually, Din is the first person. Bo is the second. Oh yeah. Let's see. If we can find a good shot here. Of Bo. Oh, she's, she's up at the front. Oh here. Oh here there she is. is she's right in front. Here's Din. So your leader is right up front. And all these other Mandalorians are letting it happen. I mean, there is some type of morale, like like not more um, type of morale that is won by having your leader like lead the charge. But at the same time, if your leader dies, then your entire movement is gone. It's gone, yeah. It, and I guess if the I mean, stormtrooper kills Bo, they now have they now own the dark saber. <laughs> that's true. That's true. And, you know, enemies... Oh, that's true. Because if, if the enemy shoots Bo, they know how the Darksaber, mm-hmm. they now lead the Mandalorians with that ridiculous that's Darksaber creepy. provenance rule of hierarchy. Oh, so that's... she really shouldn't be out in front. Yeah, she should be like the fifth person or something. Close enough even, to make decisions, but far enough back, you're not going to take hits. Even not even in the battle sometimes. Like your Maybe leadership, you shouldn't... Shouldn't always be in the battle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 